that's my boyfriend, everyone. That's special, special man right there. That was frolicky enough, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Good morning. How long did you run for? Five miles through the mountains. Just five. <laughs> <laughs> Are you enjoying the meadow views there? I am. I'm waiting for Bambi to just run out. We are currently in Sequoia National Forest right now. I'm not sure that there are any sequoia trees immediately around. No, we're a little bit outside the big giant tree area, but... We found this lovely campsite next to this idyllic meadow last night. So what are we going to do today? Explore. See some huge trees. Deal. <laughs> Splish splash in the river. I don't know. <laughs> We found ourselves a little island in this creek right here. AKA, just a little rock. Just a little rock. But isn't it all just a little rock? <laughs> yeah. How's the water feel? Is it cold? It's pretty chilly. But it pretty feels chilly? Really oh wow, that feels so good. You guys notice that a lot of these sequoias are burnt around the, the base of the trees. They're not dying, which is amazing. Forests like this have to go through a natural regenerative process. It's like the burning clears clears the like shrubs the dead shrubs at the bottom and the ash nourishes the soil so that better stronger seedlings can be planted then it has so many layers like this little piece of the tree has like wow. 30 layers in it that's amazing that's a nice little souvenir from yeah from the park it'll turn all my clothes black yeah all right <laughs> just don't put that in your pocket one little thing <laughs> You have a little friend on your shirt right there. A little passenger? Steven. Steven! What are you doing, Steven? <laughs> We're off to see the river, the wonderful river of Sequoia. Yeah. Ethan's our lead, our lead whittler for tonight. <laughs> How's it going? It's going pretty let well. me let me test this. Ouch! Good yes. To, uh, spear some mallows. I think it's very solid. Smorific. Smorific. Red potatoes, onion, and this cutest little spice rack. Spice rack. Good. I don't always make the most photogenic meals, but everyone does love them. That's true. <laughs> it's Did you mushy. Have the other rest of the lime. It looks mm -hmm. delicious, Rebecca. We need <laughs> meadow o oh meadow. Meadow o oh meadow. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss this meadow. <laughs> it's so great that we can have little weekend trips like this to come explore and take in all of this nature because not everybody can. And maybe if we don't alter 
the course that we're headed on, maybe not everybody will have the chance in the future. It's really important that we promote conservation and protection of natural places like this. I like the idea of Ollie just running through this meadow, so I want to make sure this meadow's here. So for this video, we've partnered up with an inconvenient sequel, which you may have heard of that already. It is Al Gore's sequel to his amazing first feature documentary, An Inconvenient Truth. We should all be a little bit more inconvenient if that means that we can protect places like this. And is the fire one? Check it. Check it. Nah. It's fun to enjoy nature when you do so responsibly. While the stakes have never been higher, we are close to a real energy revolution. Send a message of truth to power and see an inconvenient sequel in theaters nationwide starting August 4th. Watching the film is taking action. See the description below for details.